are a university of excellence in training, research, and innovation. True to this, we continue to offer accessible and quality training to suit the demands of the ever-dynamic world. We produce leaders in the fields of agriculture, engineering, technology, enterprise development, built environment, health, and several other applied sciences. This is the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. We set up a, a strategic uh, plan uh, that uh, was um, launched uh, in 2009 and uh, is expiring in uh, 2012. We have tried to implement the uh, main uh, strategies. Uh, one of them was on the uh, student uh, uh, increase in student population and uh, making uh, the JKUAT programs accessible. Quality, access, and relevance are the key pillars of our academic programs, factors well taken care of in our strategic planning. Keeping in step with the ever-changing world, we constantly develop market-driven courses, the latest being Bachelors of Science in the areas of Pharmacy, Nursing, Occupational Health, and Physiotherapy. We partner with key universities in Africa, therefore bringing in cutting-edge technologies and new ideas. Currently, we are working with the University of Namibia in the area of mining and mineral processing. We brand or benchmark uh, with key universities. We are currently exchanging uh, staff with them to help us teach in the, uh, the new areas of mining and mineral processing. Through hard work and relentless effort, we have continued to embrace world-class technologies and scientific discoveries, thus the development of skill and knowledge. This effort has since registered great success. As manifest, the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology has won the coveted bid to host the East and Central Africa Regional Institute of the Pan-African University after emerging the best suited for the program among the Kenyan institutions offering postgraduate research and education. This was a, a competition uh, that was uh, done in uh, East, Eastern Africa and uh, JKU had put in uh, their bid and we won. The Pan-African Institute is a continental center of graduate training and research and is aimed at promoting research and innovation among African states. It will bring together students and professionals from all across the continent and the rest of the world. The Institute will be focusing on three main areas. These are basic sciences, technology and innovation. The Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology shall be rolling out its first programs in September this year, admitting 100 pioneering students to pursue postgraduate courses. Among these are masters and PhDs in areas of civil engineering and construction management, mathematics with options, as well as biochemistry and molecular biology. We have a school of uh, uh, architecture and building sciences. These are where we train students who design houses, design structures. And uh, in that school, we have three departments, a uh, department of architecture, department of uh, uh, construction management, and department of landscape architecture. The Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology is well known for its innovative nature. And as is the norm, the university is currently working on programs which are aimed at alleviating the levels of poverty in our society. Among these programs is the sorghum project. We are looking at sorghum varieties that have got high sugar content that can be changed to various, into various products such as jaggery, that is the brown sugar, syrup, uh, bioethanol, and uh, many other products. And we feel that uh, if, when this project is completed, it will benefit farmers growing in the semi-arid regions because they will grow sorghum for industry. And so we are very, very excited on this project. Last year, we had a student expo for the first time. 
where students came and showcased their creative thinking and their innovation. And this year, we shall hold another this October for students only, so that we can encourage them to think creatively and to think innovation. Transport still remains a challenge in any developing economy. This is why the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology is investing in the development of simple and affordable transport machinery. The tricycle is a three-wheeled machine run by a small engine used for transporting loads. It can carry up to 150 kilograms of goods. Every component of the machine has been designed and once approved by the Ministry of Transport, the campus shall venture into large-scale production for distribution at an affordable price. This is projected to relieve small and medium enterprises of heavy transportation burdens. Expansions of academic programs remain our key. In the bid to reach out to a larger community, we have constantly opened up new satellite colleges across the country and even beyond. Apart from our main campus in Juja, we also have Karen Campus, Nairobi Campus, and Taita Taveta Campus. We also have central business district campuses in Mombasa, Kisi, Nakuru, Kitale, Kakamega, and Arusha. Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology programs are also offered in Kaduna Polytechnic in Nigeria. In pursuing its mandate, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology greatly values students and other stakeholders' views. Our students' union comprises of eight campuses, namely uh, Juja, Kitale, Nairobi, Mombasa, Taita, Karen. Our key responsibility is to ensure that students' interests are represented at the main committees in the university, namely the University Council, the Senate, and the Dean's Committee. We at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology believe in continued expansion and improvement of products and facilities in our university for the benefit of our students. In this regard, the university has become the third to own an Olympic-sized swimming pool after Nyayo and Kasarani stadiums. This is a major milestone in the development of sports in the university, and it will see our students participate in swimming for sport and for leisure, helping them unwind and build on their extracurriculum activities. <laughs> The facility was launched on 30th June 2011 at a colorful ceremony graced by Ministry of Sports officials and the entire university fraternity. I've been waiting for this for the last four years and I thank God it's finally here. Now I can train without paying 100 bob for a small tiny swimming pool and I can have the best time. I'm glad that we are here today to witness the opening and the launch of the swimming pool as well as other university policies such as the communication policy. And uh, these are the things that will drive the university forward. And as the alumni, we are happy to be part of it. We continue to improve the infrastructure and learning facilities at the main campus in Juja and all our satellite colleges across the country. Recently, we launched a refurbished modern library at our Karen campus. Road networks at our main campus are currently being modernized in a bid to improve the aesthetic feel of the university, thus creating a conducive learning environment. This year, we are proud to release another set of graduates whom we have prepared well to face the competitive job market. We release over 4,000 new talents at the 18th graduation, which shall be held on the 28th and 29th of July, with graduates being crowned with certificates, degrees, masters and PhDs in various fields of specialization. So this is going to be the first graduation where we are giving, we are graduating law students, about 28 of them, and we hope they are going to create a difference in this country as we move to this on 2030. I want to assure uh, the market, the industry, and everybody that our graduates are of very high quality. Uh, they are very hardworking and very focused and uh, very innovative. We shall continue to be a university of choice, producing graduates who take great roles in the society. 
Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, providing global excellence in training, research and innovation for development. <laughs>